Seductive Souls coming at you. Galaxy Note 9 just came in the mail. Purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer data from one device to another using your computer. I've done it before through USB as a video. Now I'm going to show you how to do it using your computer. Right here, I have the Galaxy Note 8 Graphite Black. Over here, got the Galaxy Note 9 Ocean Blue show you how to do that well previously showed you how to do it through USB with these connections where you transfer your micro USB into a type C USB by just connecting the little adapter that they give you the same with the USB and the adapter they give you just boop, 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 twist flip back turn plug it in then you have type C on both ends now as you said as you can hear what i said the note 8 and the note 9 are type c chargers so you would need a type c usb cable for this video to make this happen now over here on your computer you can download this application called smart switch this is how it looks when it's open. Smart switch. Welcome to Smart Switch. It's pretty much used for Samsung devices to transfer data from other devices, iPhone, Windows phones, iPads, HTC, whatever. It transfer your data and it backs it up. So not further ado, we're gonna get right into this. Don't waste no more time. Forgive me for a shaky video. I'm trying to do everything on my own. Now, on your on your on your Galaxy phone, the Smart Switch app should come installed already. Um, all you have to do is search your apps for Smart Switch. As you see, it's in my history. It didn't come up. I couldn't find it. So all you gotta do go to the Play Store, type in Smart Switch. It'll come up, and you see it's installed. So just click open. There you go. But Go ahead, connect your phone to your computer, have your adapter on there. I'm using this old cord just so I can use the adapter. I, I got a bag of goodies where I keep all my stuff to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this. Now we're over here, pops up, Galaxy Note 9. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. Now, I, the reason I'm doing it from the computer is because I did a restore. I did a backup yesterday from my Note 8 because I knew this was coming in. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this. Show you that backup. Click more. Go to preferences. Now, this will come up when you when you back up your phone it gives you the options of what you can back up context calendar messages images music videos email home screen settings clock call lock every, every pretty much everything that's on your phone you can select or deselect whatever you want so it don't take it off and then my camera keep flipping i'm sorry i'm trying to charge it at the same time now right here you see it says galaxy note 8 8 2018 that's my backup from yesterday so what i'm going to do is click that and click ok and restore and then there we go and you see backup data from Galaxy Note 8 will be restored to the connected device. The backup was created on 8-22-2018 at 1.50 p.m. You can change if you want to back it up to another file or click restore now. And as I said, I did that yesterday, so everything is there for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click restore now 
Okay, there we go. Restoring data, this may take some time. If you're using a laptop, connect to the power source. Do not close smart switch on a mobile de device or disconnect the US cable until it's complete, the restore is complete. So go ahead and let this, let you see how this loads for a little bit right here. You see it says backing up. I still have my screen protector on there in case you can't tell. Preparing to start the process, restore process. I'm gonna sit for a little bit till it gets started and then pause and then I'll come back when it's almost complete. As you can see, Galaxy Note 9, model name SMN960U, Android version, internal memory, 465.63 gigabytes left, used 2.71 gigabytes. This is a 512 gigabyte Note 9. Most of that that's gone right there is from the software OS and all that kind of stuff still says backing up just trying to get it done so it's starting the process I'm not gonna hold you up I'm gonna pause this and let it do its do its work and then I'll come back and I'm back as you can see, it says 100%. Still restoring. It's on the applications now. 169 app, 169 apps. So now, the mistake I made earlier that made it take so long is I was trying to do from phone to phone using a USB, and it got stuck. So if you run into that same issue, make sure you unplug the USB from your phone and close the app on your computer and then re-plug it up and start it back up like that and then it'll start as soon as you plug it up it'll start counting from one and going on and however long the process take and don't click restore don't click uh, backup click restore that's why I messed up it I clicked backup on a new phone instead of restore so it was trying to make something happen that wasn't there yet almost done sixty two or sixty nine just so the world can see tighten up you already know it's my man cave back at it now it says the backup data has been successfully restored to your device it took 24 minutes and 20 seconds and it restored 16.18 gigabytes and it restored all this transfer now go over to the note 9 to the device it's saving at 85% 93% zero now you see at the top is counting it's going through a process so over here on the computer go ahead and click OK knowing that you got everything done click it goes back to the main screen now we're just waiting on your phone 18 steps it's on step 6 each step is going to go through 1 through 100 to get it done to add everything to the phone So I'm just gonna be right here while this process goes through. Hopefully it goes by pretty quick.
some steps take longer than others as you can see Got a message or email, whatever that is. Now it's on step 11. 18 is 1%. Two percent. This one's gonna take a while, so what I'll do is go ahead and pause this, and I'll be back when it's almost complete. There you go. All done. What it was doing was loading the contacts, emails, apps, settings, and all that stuff. So it's all done. That's it. Go ahead and close that out. And there we go. stuff is loaded just the way my other screen is let me show you my other screen everything is loaded that's it that's how you transfer data from one device to another device using your computer so like comment subscribe let me know what you think if this was helpful or not